Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video and today it is Movie Monday <laughs> and today we are carrying on with my Blu-ray collection so we're onto this little shelf here we've got two more piles and that is it so we're getting through them slowly but surely but yes, I do hope you enjoy this video um, if you like any of these movies, let me know down below if there's any movies you recommend, let me know down below and yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is the first half of this row. And to start off this row, we continue with the L's from the other side. And that is The Little Mermaid. Um, I love Disney. I'm obsessed with Disney. And this is one of the movies that I'm obsessed with. I absolutely love The Little Mermaid. And when they started doing the Blu-rays and that, I figured I'd start collecting my favourite Disney movie first. And then carry on from there. And then, of course, my absolute favourite Disney movie. Well, two of my. I have two absolute favourite Disney movies. This is one of them. And that is Lilo in Stitch. Uh, my friends and family know that I am obsessed with Stitch. You guys know I'm obsessed with Stitch. I absolutely love Stitch. He's so cute and adorable. And this is one of my absolute favourite movies of all time. If you would like to see my absolute favourite movies of all time as a video, let me know down below. I'll quite happily do show you my, show you the absolute favourite films of all time that I love. Uh, next one is a Jim Carrey film that I love, and I I pretty much love all these movies. <laughs> pretty much. Oh wait, no, there's one on here that I have not watched yet, so that'll be the next one. <laughs> but yeah, this is Jim Carrey, Liar Liar. I absolutely love this film. I mean. The son makes a wish for his dad, so Jim Carrey, to just only be able to tell the truth. And it is absolutely hilarious. I love this movie. I cannot get over this movie. I love all Jim Carrey movies, the ones I've seen anyway. There's a couple I haven't, which I will get round to doing soon. So on to the next one, we have The Legend of Tarzan. I brought this ages ago, and I still haven't watched it. Let me know down below if it is any good, if I should watch it. I mean, obviously I will get round to watching it at some point, but I think it's because... I've heard different things, like I've heard it's good, I've heard it's bad, so who knows, maybe I might watch it this week, I don't know. If you want, I could watch it and review it, let me know, because I haven't done many reviews, obviously, because with the cinemas being shut and everything, but it is something I would like to do, so let me know if there's any films you want me to review that I might have not seen, and yeah, give me more video content. <laughs> uh, next one is another Disney film, and the case is ruined, which is great. So I might have to buy a new one because I don't like it when the cases are ruined. Uh, but it is Moana. I love this movie. It's so funny. And the rock in this is hilarious. And I'm obsessed with the song Shiny. Like the villain song. I can't get over it. I listen to it as much as I can. Uh, the next two is a quadrilogy. Quadrilogy, I think is the way I say it. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm eating my own hair. <laughs> Uh, so these ones are the Men in Black Trilogy, so that's Men in Black 1, 2 and 3, and Men in Black International. I didn't mind Men in Black International. It was good, but unfortunately you cannot beat Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. And for me, the first one will always, always, always be my favourite. And I might do a future ranking of these maybe in the future. I'm trying to figure out what movies out of my collections I want to rank, what ones I want to review, so let me know down below if there is any other rankings you want me to do. Obviously you've got the Resident Evil one coming up, so fingers crossed. Uh, next one is a Robin Williams classic. I absolutely love this movie. My family love this movie as well, and that is Mrs. Doubtfire. It's just so funny. If you have not watched it, I definitely recommend it if you want a funny evening. And yeah just you can't go wrong with Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, next one is an absolute favourite movie of mine and it's my absolute favourite Jim Carrey movie of all time like it is my top 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 favourite like it's my number one favourite Jim Carrey movie and that is The Mask. I absolutely love The Mask. It is a classic. It's one of his best movies I think and yeah I hate to say it but I can quote this thing word for word. And I love doing it. I love it when I can quote movies. I don't care if other people think it's weird. I love it. It's my passion. And if I can quote it word for word, I'm going to do it. 
the next two are musicals. Um, one of them still in its wrapping, but I have seen it because I want to see it in cinema. And that is Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. I definitely think I... I think I actually preferred the second one, which is weird. Don't get me wrong, the first one was good. But for me, I think the second one, I like the fact that you went back to her mum's roots. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad a film, Mamma Mia. Not gonna lie. Uh, next one is one of another one of my favourites that I actually only watched a couple of years ago for the first time ever, and that is Moulin Rouge. I love musicals, not gonna lie. I do have quite a few musicals, as you have seen so far, but Moulin Rouge is definitely one of my top favourite musicals. And uh, next one, I did have the first two of these movies. I don't know where they've gone, so I'm gonna have to get them on Blu-ray because I think I had them on. DVD, not Blu-ray, but it is Maze Runner, The Death Cure. I was actually able to see all three movies in the cinema, which is fantastic, but I still haven't read the books. I need to read the books. <laughs> uh, next one is one I was surprised I actually enjoyed. I didn't think it was going to be my kind of movie, but I did actually enjoy it, and that is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I absolutely love this movie. It is hilarious, and yeah. I just love the kitchen fight scene. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, next one is wrapped up, but I have seen it. But I have not seen the sequel, and I haven't got the sequel, so I do need to watch that. And that is Magic Mike. It's actually a pretty good movie, not going to lie. I haven't watched it in a while, so I might have to re-watch it. Uh, next one is a film not many people liked, but I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoyed the TV show a bit more than I do the film, but I still love the film, and that is The Mortal Instruments City of Bones. I did read the first book, I think I may have read the second book, and I think I got halfway through the third book, so I still need to finish the series, but I'm not going to lie, I did enjoy the film. I know not many people did, but I'm one of the ones that did. Uh, next one is one I did get to see in the cinema. I'm still 50-50 on it, so I think I need to give it a rewatch. And that is Miss Peregrine, Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. That is hard to say. <laughs> um, I did pick up the book, but I think I never got to read it, so I think I just got rid of it. But, yeah, the film weren't too bad. Um, I might need to give it a rewatch because I haven't watched it since, well, since I first brought it. So, I'll have to give it a rewatch and give another judgement. Uh, next one is a film that made me cry, but I absolutely love movies that make me cry, and that is Me Before You. It is still in its wrapping, but because my mum brought it on DVD for herself, we ended up watching that copy, and I had to get a copy for myself. Okay, next one is another film that I'm surprised I enjoyed, because for me, like Me Before You or Five Feet Apart, like films like that, I always, like, I don't like medical films kind of thing, you know, like, Fault in Our Stars and stuff, like, I hate seeing, like, medical stuff, because obviously I'm, like, a paranoid person and stuff, but also it's just, like, it's always quite sad, but to be honest, recently I've actually got quite into them, and one of them is Midnight Sun, um, I did love this movie, um, I do need to give it another rewatch, but yeah, and I love the soundtrack for this as well, it's quite nice songs in it. Uh, next one is one I actually watched a couple of months ago. I've had it for ages and I finally watched it. And it actually wasn't too bad. I enjoyed it. And Chris Pratt in it was actually pretty funny. And that is The Magnificent Seven. I finally got to watch it. I know there's a parody called The Ridiculous Six on Netflix. So I might give that a watch. But yeah, I actually enjoyed this movie. And it's very rare I watch Western movies. The only other Western movie I've actually watched that's not Back to the Future Part 3 is... Wild Wild West. I absolutely love Wild Wild West. Uh, next one is another film I didn't know if I was going to like or not, but I actually really enjoyed it. And I read the book, and the book was quite good as well. And that is Nerve. It's a very weird film. It's like you can either be a watcher or a player. And yeah, it's very weird, but it's actually a very good film. So if you have not watched it or if you're not sure about it, definitely recommend it. Uh, the next one is... A box set but it's a very thin box set as you can see it's very thin and that is the nightmare on elm street collection so this has the first one then it has freddy's revenge dream warriors dream master dream child final nightmare and west craven's new nightmare um yeah 
I was terrified of this as a kid, not gonna lie. The first scene I had ever, ever seen was Johnny Depp's scene at the end. I'm not gonna spoil much of it unless you've seen it, and then you know what I mean. And because of that scene, I could not sleep for a while. But over the couple of past couple of years, I've actually started getting really into them, and now I enjoy it. And in my DVD collection, I have the documentary film as well. But yeah, this is, so this is just like the box set, very thin Blu-ray box set. And the last one in this first half is a film I got to see in the cinema, and I actually didn't mind it. So a like, lot, lot of these films, I didn't mind them. Like, this one, I like it. No, you know what? I love it. I actually enjoyed it. Not going to lie. I ain't going to cover it up. And that is Pixels. Pixels was actually a good film. I must admit I enjoyed it. I do like video game films, like Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff like that. And... Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it, I am not going to lie. So yeah, so that was my first half of my Blu-ray collection. So we're now going to go into the last half of my Blu-ray collection. And yeah, we're almost done. We're almost there. <laughs> and of course, you know, as the months go on, I'll be getting more Blu-rays because I am trying to upgrade my normal DVDs to Blu-rays because you get more special features and also some of my DVDs have started to lose their quality not gonna lie <laughs> so yeah let's just get set straight into the second half okay so we're on to the second half of my pile i neglected to mention that this will be an unedited video pretty much a couple of mistakes here and there i'll obviously take out but the rest of it will be unedited because i just want to get i just want to power through the last couple so fingers crossed i won't have to do much cutting <laughs> uh so yeah so to get straight into the second half we have passengers Still, I've not watched it. I brought this because it's got Chris Pratt in it, and it's got Jennifer Lawrence in it, but I still haven't watched it because, again, when I buy movies, I get, I see mixed reviews about it. So it's like, it was good, it was bad, and it's like, when it's like that, it puts me off a little bit. But who knows? Maybe at some point this year, I'll give it a watch. But say, so, I can't even remember what it's about, which is really bad. I think I need to rewatch the trailer. <laughs> Uh, next one is one I haven't watched, but I have seen the first one, and yeah, Paddington 2. I don't know why. I don't even have the first one, I don't think. Or I might have it and it's on DVD, I'm not sure. But yeah, I still haven't watched this yet, I don't know if it's any good. Um, let me know down below. So the films that I've mentioned that I haven't seen, let me know down below if they are any good or not, and if you want me to review them, and I'll do it. Uh, the next one is the trilogy set for Pitch Perfect. So it's got Pitch Perfect 1, a Pitch Perfect 2, and a Pitch Perfect 3. I absolutely love, 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 love these movies. I love the soundtracks on these movies. I love the songs. It's one of those ones that actually my whole family, like my mum and sister, enjoy as well. Say, and Fat Amy, oh my god, Fat Amy is hilarious. I love her, she's my absolute favourite character in these films. And yeah, I just love the songs, and I think with each one, the songs get better and better. And yeah, so I figured I'll pick them up on Blu ray. <laughs> uh, next one is one of my favourite Simon Pegg films and Nick Frost films. I'm trying to watch more of theirs. For example, The World's End is one I still haven't watched, but I have somewhere. But this is one of my absolute favourites think I got to see it in the cinema I can't really remember and that is Paul if you have not watched Paul I definitely recommend it it is hilarious it's funny it's witty honestly it's definitely one of my favorite films and you can't go wrong with Paul Paul's hilarious uh, next one is one that is another one that surprised me um, I remember watching the program here and there when I was a kid so I figured, you know what, I'll pick up the film, and especially since it's got Ryan Reynolds in it, I love, 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 love Ryan Reynolds, he's such a good actor. Him and Jim Carrey are my two favourite actors, and that is Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I was actually surprised at the fact that I did like this movie, especially since I haven't really watched any Pokemon since I was a kid. And yeah, Ryan Reynolds was good in this, I do like Ryan Reynolds, he's a very good actor. <laughs> uh, the next... Five, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So the next five is uh, another movie set, and that is 
the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. So that is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, and Pirates of the Caribbean, Salazar's Revenge. I actually really enjoy these movies. I'm surprised I do. Say, so, like I said, it's, some films surprise me, and some film, some films I'm like. Eh, but these ones actually surprised me at how much I liked them and the reason why they're still in the wrapping is because they were on sale at HMV and I just picked them all up at once and I still haven't unwrapped them apart from the first one and the most recent one because I watched it with my mum because she likes the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and yeah it's just if you haven't watched them definitely recommend them if you like Johnny Depp or if you like Disney because obviously Disney produced them I heard they're going to do another one. I think there's rumours of another one, but I'm not 100% sure. But who knows? I think I think five's enough for me. I think for me, you have to be very careful how many sequels you do. So carrying on. <laughs> uh, the next one is the second one to a movie that... I've seen both movies. It's just I don't have the first one on Blu-ray. I think I have it on DVD underneath my bed. <laughs> yeah, there's films under my bed that I will go for at some point. <laughs> uh, but this is Ralph Breaks the Internet. I do like seeing it go from being arcade games to the internet because it's like showing the evolution and stuff. And I did like, not gonna lie, did like the Disney princess scene and I like the fact they were going through Disney and stuff. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I don't think I got to see it in the cinema. I think I've only watched it because I got it on DVD. But there you go. Uh, this one is actually really random so what it is is i'd gone out for the day and i was doing some shopping and then i got a bit bored and i was like you know what i'm gonna see what's on and i saw that this was on and i was like okay it might be all right might not be i've seen the trailer for it once and i just randomly went to go and see it and i'm glad i did and that is robin hood i actually really enjoyed this film surprisingly i think it's because it's got taron egerton Egerton, I can't pronounce it, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed this film. This one was another one that surprised me, and yeah, I heard they're doing a sequel for it. I think I've heard rumors. I hear rumors of a lot of films because obviously I like to keep up to date with what's going on in the film world. But yeah, I'm really surprised by that one. <laughs> uh, the next two are actually pretty funny. I must admit, I did enjoy them. Um, the first one is still in its casing, but for some reason, I don't know why. But there you go. I've seen, I've seen them both. And that is Ride Along and Ride Along 2. I love Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is hilarious. Ice Cube was hilarious in this as well. And yeah, if you want a funny night and if you want a cop movie, I definitely recommend these movies. Uh, the next one is a film I actually watched in high school and I actually really enjoyed it because obviously back in high school you had to watch films based on books and it was like of mice and men and frankenstein and stuff like that so this one is romeo and juliet not gonna lie i was obsessed with this film for years still one of my favorites but it's kind of dropped down on my list so it's not like at the top anymore it's kind of pfft, gone down but i still enjoy it i haven't watched it in a while so i might have to give it a watch um nobody kill me for this one I have not watched this yet, I keep meaning to, I will watch it eventually, and that is Ready Player One, I've heard it's really good, so don't kill me for it because I have not watched it yet, but I do plan on watching this in the next couple of months because I need to start watching the films I've brought that I haven't seen, instead of buying films that I have watched and I have seen. Uh, next one, I only have the first one. I borrowed the second one off a friend and I actually really enjoyed the second one as well. And that is The Secret Life of Pets. Again, Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart in this. He was hilarious. And I love the cat, Gidget. It's just... She's so funny. I love the cat. The cat is mean pretty much most of the time. <laughs> and yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, next one is one of my favourite classic childhood films. I think this is the 90s. Yeah, 1996. Um, yeah, it's one of those films I absolutely enjoyed. They have confirmed that there is a sequel for it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. But 
there you go, they're doing sequels to films from ages ago now, and some of them have been alright, so fingers crossed this one will be, and that is Space Jam. If you haven't watched Space Jam, I definitely recommend it. I'm proud of it. <laughs> I definitely recommend it, um, especially if you want to feel nostalgic, if you were born in the 90s, or if you just enjoy Bugs Bunny. I definitely recommend this movie. Uh, next one is one I wasn't going to watch, but then I'm glad I did. I do like the soundtrack on this movie, and again, it's got Taron Egerton. E I can't say his name, I'm sorry. Uh, and that is Sing. This is one of those ones that actually surprised me. I think for me, though, I think it's more the soundtrack. Like, I like the voices on this film. Um, but, yeah. I wonder if they'll do a Sing 2. Because they seem to be doing a lot of sequels recently. Uh, next one is a Melissa McCarthy film. I love Melissa McCarthy. She always makes me laugh. She's one of my top favourite actresses. And it is Spy. If you have not watched it, I definitely recommend it. It is one of, Miss one of Melissa McCarthy's best films, I think. Along with Bridesmaids. Oh my god, I loved her in Bridesmaids. She's hilarious in that. <laughs> and, yeah, so... Definitely recommend it if you like spy movies. I definitely recommend it if you want just a funny night in. And if you like Miss if you like Melissa McCarthy. I can't speak today. Again. <laughs> uh, next one is one I brought at random because it looked funny. And it actually was pretty funny. Not gonna lie. And that is The Spy Who Dumped Me. As you can tell, I like a lot of spy films. <laughs> that seems to be coming up quite a bit. Yeah. I like spies. Spy movies are fun. Um, yeah, so the spy who dumped me weren't too bad. I must admit, I did quite enjoy it. Um, I think it's one of those films though that they could have just do one and just leave it at that. Anyway, sorry if the camera angle has changed or anything like that. My camera decided to tell me that I have insufficient space on my memory card, so had to clear some stuff off there. But of course, it had happened when I've only got two DVDs left to do. Uh, so yeah, back to what I was saying, this is one of three of the saga I actually own. I do want to get the rest, uh, I want to get them on Blu-ray, which is surprising me because I didn't know if I was going to like these or not. And yeah, so it is Star Wars The Last Jedi. I haven't seen the most recent one, I can't remember what it's called. But I do like the Star Wars movies, I'm actually surprised I do, but I'm really glad that I've seen them, apart from the most recent one. Um, this is another film I have not seen but I've heard it's got quite a few good reviews so I need to watch this at some point and it's another Rock movie I do think Rock, The Rock is quite a good actor and that is Skyscraper it's also got Neve Campbell in it I love Neve Campbell she was in one of my favourite horror movies Scream and yeah so I've heard a lot of good things about this I do need to watch it but I'd say like I said I've still got quite a few that I've brought that I haven't watched might do like a month like I might put a month aside say like November where I just have a month of reviewing all the films that I own that I haven't watched I like that I like the idea of that I'm gonna do that and yes so that is another part of my movie collection done we literally have only two more piles to go so we are almost done yay and then if you want me to I don't mind I can do my DVD collection as well. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see my DVD collection. Because I own a lot more DVDs than I do Blu-rays. Which is surprising because this Blu-ray collection is taking me a while to do. So this is another thing that's going to take me a while to do. But yeah, so let me know if you did enjoy this, this video. Um, obviously, if there's any you think I should buy, anything that I should own, let me know. And I might give it a go like go and buy them out and see what they're like but yeah I do enjoy making these videos I'm glad to make the videos and I like showing off my collection I love showing people how much I love movies <laughs> so yeah I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did do give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye